Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our virtual class. Again, this is your OLC, Mary Jane Arlerana, and the subject uh, information management. So our topic is about uh, expert system. So at the end of this lesson, you students will be able to first understand what an expert system is, given examples of expert system, discuss the benefits and limitations of using expert system, understand the characteristics of ex expert systems in AI, and compare the conventional system to expert system. Okay, so let's begin with the definition of the expert system. So expert system that is an interactive and reliable computer-based decision-making system which uses both facts and heuristics to solve complex decision-making problems. It is considered as the highest level of human intelligence and expertise. The purpose of an expert system is to solve the most complex issues in a specific domain. So the expert system in AI can resolve many issues which generally would require a human expert. It is based on knowledge acquired from an expert. AI or artificial intelligence and expert systems are capable of expressing and reasoning about some domain of knowledge. So expert system were the predecessor of the current day artificial intelligence, deep learning and the machine learning systems. Examples of the expert system we have here are the following. The first one is the MYCIN. So MYCIN, it was uh, based on backward chaining and could identify uh, various bacteria that could cause acute infections. It could also recommend drugs uh, based on the patient's weight. It is one of the best expert system example. We have also the dental. So dental expert system used for chemical analysis to predict molecular structure. We have also the PX desk. That is an example of expert system used to predict the degree and type of the lung cancer. Then we have also the KDET, one of the best expert system that can identify cancer at early stages. So those are examples of the expert system. So what are the characteristics of the expert system? So as you can see in the uh, diagram, we have uh, the, the uh, why do we need an expert system? Of course, we need uh, we need the scientists. We have a 95% accuracy or 55 accuracy on the result based on the query. So here are the following important characteristics of an expert system. The first one is the highest level of expertise. So the expert system in AI offers the highest levels of expertise. It provides efficiency, accuracy, and imaginative problem solving. The next one, another characteristic is right on time reaction. So an expert system in artificial intelligence interacts in a very reasonable period of time with the user. So the total time must be less than the time taken by an expert to get the most accurate solution for the same problem. Then good reliability. So the expert system in AI needs to be reliable and it must not be, uh, it must not make any mistake. Flexible. An expert system should be flexible. It is uh, vital that it remains flexible as it is possessed by an expert system.
then effective mechanism. So expert system in artificial intelligence must have an efficient uh, mechanism to administer the compilation of the existing knowledge in it. Then the last one is it should capable of handling challenging decisions and problems. So an expert system is capable of handling uh, challenging decision problems and delivering solutions. So those are the characteristics of an expert system. First, the highest level of expertise. You can provide the highest level of expertise. expertise. Then, right on time reaction. It should also uh, go to a reliability. It should be a flexible, effective mechanism and capable of handling challenging decision and problems. What are the components of an expert system? So an expert system has many core system components to functions and interfaces with individuals of various roles. So as you can see the diagram, that is the expert system components. We have the human expert, the knowledge engineer, and then we have the knowledge base, the inference engine, and the user interface training to the user. The user may not be an expert. So the first one, user interface. First component. So this component takes the user's theory in a readable form and passes it to the interference engine. So after that, it displays the result to the user. In other words, it's an interface that helps the user communicate with the expert system. Second is the interference engine. It is the brain of the expert system. So inference engine contains rules to solve a specific problem. It prefers the knowledge from the knowledge base. It selects facts and rules to apply when trying to answer the user's theory provides reasoning about information in the knowledge base. It also helps in adapting the problem to find the solution. So this component is also helpful for formulating conclusions. So that is inference engine. Then we have the knowledge base. The knowledge base is a repository of facts. It is source all the knowledge about the problem domain. It is like a large uh, container of knowledge which is obtained from different experts of a specific field. Thus, uh, we can say that the success of the expert system uh, software mainly depends on the highly accurate and precise knowledge. Those are the components. Then we have also other key terms used in expert system aside from the knowledge and the inference of, and the user interface. So the first one is the facts and rules. So a fact is a small portion of important information. The so facts on their own are of very limited, uh, limited use. The rules are essential to select and apply facts to a user problem. And we have also the knowledge acquisition. So the term knowledge acquisition means how to get required dom domain knowledge by the expert system. So the entire process starts by uh, extracting the, the knowledge from the human expert, then converting the acquired knowledge into rules and injecting the developed rules into the knowledge base. That is the knowledge acquisition. So who are the participants in the expert system development? So we have what we call the domain expert. So the main expert, he is a person or group whose expertise and knowledge is taken to develop an expert system. Then we have also the knowledge engineer. So knowledge engineer is a technical 
a person who integrates knowledge into computer system. And we have the end user. So it is a person or group of people who are using the expert system to get uh, advice which will not be provided by the expert, that is the end user. So the process of building an expert system should we should uh, determine the characteristics of the problems. So, uh, what is the role of the expert system? Who will use that expert system? So determining the that is a uh, uh, determining the characteristics of the problem. Second is knowledge engineer and domain expert work in coherence to define the problem. After uh, identifying the characteristics of the problem, they will now define the specific problem. So the knowledge engineer translates the knowledge into a computer understandable knowledge. So they will now program, they, prog they will program it. And then knowledge expert also determines how to integrate the use of uncertain knowledge in the reasoning process and what type of explanation would be use, useful. So that is the process of building an expert system. So let's compare the conventional system versus the expert system. So when we said conventional, that is in the conventional system, knowledge and processing are combined in one unit. While in the expert, knowledge database and the processing mechanisms are two separate components. And then the program does not make errors unless error in programming that is for conventional. Then for the expert system, the expert system make, may make a mistake. Then the system is operational when only when fully developed. While in the expert, system is optimized on an ongoing basis and can be launched with a, number, uh, a small number of rules. So in the conventional, step-by-step -step execution according to fixed algorithms is required. While in expert, execution is done logically and heuristically. And for the conventional, it needs full information. While in, in the expert, it can be functional with sufficient or insufficient information. So that's how the conventionals and the expert differ from each other. How about human expert and the expert system? Okay, so let's compare. The first one, human expert, this is perishable. Well, for the artificial expertise, it is permanent because it is programmed. And then for the human uh, expert, it is difficult to transfer. While in the other one, it is transferable. For the human, difficult to document. While in the artificial, it is easy to document. For the human expert, it is unpredictable. While artificial, since that is already programmed, it is consistent. And then for the human expert, it is expensive, while for the artificial, it costs effective, uh, effective system. So expert, uh, expert system features. So there are a number of features which are commonly used in expert system. So these features allows the user to fully utilize the expert system capability conveniently and providing the most uh, logical and the reasonable decision in a problematic situation. The first one is blackboard chaining. That is an inference technique which continuously break a goal into smaller sub goals which are easier to prove via if then rules. So that is blackboard chaining. And then the second one is dealing with uncertainties. 
that system has the capability to handle and reason with conditions that are uncertain and data which are not precisely known. And forward chaining, an inference technique which deduces a problem solution from an initial data data via if then rules. So we will use the if then rules. Then data presentation. The method where the specific problem data is stored and accessed in the system. User interface. So that is the portion of the code which creates an easy to use system. The explanations the ability of the system to explain the reasoning process that is used to reach a recommendation. So those are the system uh, expert system features. So what are the applications of the expert system? Some popular applications of expert systems, we have the information management. So we can use an expert system for information management hospitals and medical facilities that is just like we mentioned a while ago it can easily detect uh, the, the cancer so that is applicable of hospital and medical facilities it can also be used in the health desk management employee performance evaluation loan analysis virus detection just like the corona we have detected it in the way back 2019. Then, uh, useful for repair and maintenance projects. Warehouse optimization. We can also use the expert system in planning and scheduling. The configuration of manufactured uh, objects. Financial uh, decision making. Knowledge of publishing, process monitoring and control, then supervise the operation of the plant and controller. It can also be used in the stock market trading. And then we have the airline scheduling and the cargo schedules. So those are the application of the expert system. So what are the advantage? For advantages of using expert system. So expert system has been uh, reliably used in the business world to gain uh, tactical advantages and forecast the market's condition. So in this globalization era, for every uh, uh, decision made in the business world is critical for success, the assistance provided from an expert system is undoubtedly essential and highly reliable for an organization to succeed. So we have the first one is providing consistent solutions. So it can provide consistent answers for repetitive decisions, processes, and tasks. So as long as the rule base in the system remains the same, regardless of how many times a similar problems are being tested, the final conclusions will will remain the same. The next one is provide reasonable explanations. It has the ability to clarify the reasons why the conclusions was wrong and why it is considered as the most uh, logical choice among other uh, alternatives. If there are any doubts in concluding a certain problem, it will prompt some questions for users answers in order to process the logical conclusions then overcome uh, human limitations so it does not have human limitations and can work around the clock continuously so it can work 24 7. so users will be able to frequently use it in seeking solutions so the knowledge of experts in an invaluable asset for the company it can store the knowledge and use as long as the organization needs it. Then, is it to adapt to new conditions? So unlike humans who often uh, have troubles in adapting 
in new environment, so an expert system has highly adaptability and can meet new requirements in a short period of time. It also can capture new knowledge from an expert and use it as inference rules to solve the new problems. So in addition of the advantages, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have also some benefits. It improves the decision quality. It also cuts the expenses of consulting experts for uh, problem solving. It also provides uh, fast and efficient solutions to problems in a narrow uh, area of specialization. And it can uh, gather uh, scarce expertise and use it efficiently. So it offers also consistent answer for the repetitive problem. So repetitive problem, there is only one answer. It maintains a significant level of information. It also helps you get fast and accurate answers. also provides a proper explanations of uh, decision making then provide also an ability to solve complex and challenging issues and artificial intelligence expert system can steadily work without getting emotional tense or fatigue so it, has, uh, it can work 24 7. okay so let's proceed with the disadvantage so although the expert system does provide many significant advantages, it does not have its it does have its uh, drawbacks as well. So example, we have the lacks of common sense. So it lacks common sense needed in some decision making, since all the decisions made are based on the inference rules set in the system. It also cannot make creative and innovative responses as human experts would in unusual circumstances. And highly implementation and maintenance costs. So the implementation of an expert system in business will be financial burden for a smaller organizations since it has a high development cost as well as the subsequent recurring costs to upgrade the system to adapt in the new environment and difficulty in creating inference rule so the main expert will not be able to always explain their logic and reasoning needed for the knowledge engineering process so the task of qualifying out of the knowledge is highly complex and may require a high knowledge then it may provide the wrong solution so it is not error free so there may be uh, an errors occurred in the processing due to some alleged mistakes made in the knowledge base which it will then provide the wrong solutions so in addition uh, uh, to that another advantage or disadvantages of an expert system it is unable to make a creative response in an extraordinary situation, errors in the knowledge base can lead to wrong decision. Then the maintenance cost of, of an expert system is uh, too expensive, and each problem in the, is different. Therefore, the solution from a human expert can also be different and more creative. So that is the disadvantage of an expert system. 